All right, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. It's very exciting. We're probably wrapping things up this week. Unless I'm mistaken, I think the only things we have left to do are the fourth Pantheon, the Trial of the Fool in the Coliseum. We can fight Poop Bro's Ghost a bunch of times, and then we can redo the final boss. I know there are also, like, I think two, maybe three other bosses that we have not encountered yet, but I think all of those are going to be in the fourth Pantheon, so... Let me just see. So we got all these guys. Yeah, all that's fine. So we've got one boss here that we have not fought. This empty god stands at a Pantheon's peak. Yeah, so that's going to be at the end of the Pantheon. But there are two down here where, like, there's a lever you can push to switch them, but I don't have the lever unlocked. So this is one of them, and this is for Nosk. Uh-huh. So, I'm guessing there's a Nosk repeat in the Pantheon, hopefully. And then there's also the Mantis Lords have another one. Which is interesting. So hopefully we can find them. Uh, we could do the fourth Pantheon, but honestly, I'm not super sure if I'll be able to beat that, whereas I'm pretty sure I'll be able to clear the Trial of the Fool now. Because, uh... I I did some research. I didn't spoil anything on any of the endings. Don't worry. I literally just looked up certain charm combinations that people like. And apparently there are some charm combos that change certain charms that the game doesn't tell you about. And I am excited to see those. Hollow Knight is the player's older brother. That's why you call him a <laughs> big brother. Yeah, that's right. We got that lore. So we'll go out of the waterways. I guess if we're here... No, I'm going to Trial of the Fool first. Now, I always forget... Dreamgate, you hold down to set it, you hold up to travel. I always forget. And I don't want to do the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, your cat eats bugs? Or at least kills the bugs? That's good. My old my old orange boy cat loved eating bugs. He was great. Alright. We gotta set up our charm combo. Now, guys, you know what's gonna be the key to beating this arena? You know what the key to beating this arena is. So obviously we want unbreakable strength. The key to beating the arena? The spider friends. <laughs> You know why? So, the thing about the spider friends, they just kind of run around, but they don't do a whole lot. Like, they barely damage the enemy, and they don't give you any soul for damaging the enemies. But, if you equip Grub Song, they do give you soul for hitting enemies, apparently. Which means I'll basically have infinite soul. And also, if you combine it with Sprint Master, the spider friends become really aggressive. <laughs> From what I've heard. So, I am definitely trying those out. Now we have one other thing that's uh, one notch. What else do we want to equip? I've heard the forms are actually not bad, but I've just never really tried them. We need the compass, obviously. Duh. Mm. Weaver Stolen plus Grub Stolen is so good. That combo carried you for the first clear of the Pantheons. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? I've never actually tried Dream Wielder. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Spider Friends! <laughs> Come with me, spider friends! Oh my gosh, they're so fast. And so am I! <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, that's a better idea. Nailmaster's Glory. Actually, no, I'll try the Dream... I've never actually used the Dream Wielder. Wow, that is a really fast Dream Nail. Okay, we actually might be able to Dream Nail enemies to get even more soul. Which I won't use for anything but healing. Trial of the Fool, fight for Geo. And the glory of being a fool. And if we can get a thousand Geo, then we can get Unbreakable Greed. You know, that charm that literally nobody wants. <laughs> That'll be like the only thing I don't get. I didn't get the Unbreakable Greed. Because by the time I could get it, I couldn't get it. Thank you! Thank you! Yes, the spider friends are here. Now, I don't have Quick Slash on me. Which could make things a bit problematic. I 
I do still have the Mark of Pride, though. Yeah, apparently there's some crazy charm combos. Like, if you have the the charm that lets you shoot sword beams at full HP, and you have, like, the uh, peril, the Mega Rush badge, which, like, powers you up at 1 HP, you'll be able to shoot sword beams at 1 HP. Which is kind of cool, but, like, also, why don't they tell you that? Ow, no, you moved down. Okay, the spider friends, I kind of need you to not stay on the spikes the whole time. I also... Apparently, the random badge that changes your soul attack move into a shooting a bunch of worms is apparently stupidly overpowered. Like, people kept putting it in the top tier. Which, like, really? I mean, I believe... I guess I can believe it, but, like... I feel like I tried it out and it sucked. I was probably just using it wrong, though. No. You're meant to find the charm combos just by experiment. Yeah, hey, that's fair. Ouch. Honestly, I'm just kind of going to hang back and let the uh, the spider friends do my bidding. Spider friends, spider friends, they have a soul and you don't. this combo. If only I could have a bit more power without needing to be at 1 HP. Darn it, stuck under the platform again. And yet, the shotgun bugs have no problem always hitting in between these platforms. Okay, I don't like how the spider friends just suck whenever there are spikes on the ground. They literally just stay on the spikes and don't even try to get out. Oh yeah, these guys. Ouch. No! That's where steady body would have been nice to have. Gotta get rid of Mantis, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the spider friends were not as useful as I would have thought. Because they just stay on the spikes and don't do anything. Alright, time for a different option, then. Could try Dream Shield. I guess. Quick, quick Slash is pretty good until you get towards the end. Actually, no, I think Quick Slash will be worth it. And maybe... Maybe Spell Twister? Or Shape of Oon? Well, no, Shape of Oon really won't help that much. Yeah, Fluke Nest is apparently really, really good, according to some of the tier lists. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure Unbreakable Strength is just the best. Because, like, why wouldn't it be? Um, I'll try Spell Twister. You know? I don't use the offensive spells nearly enough. Wait a second. Why wasn't the little Saluber guy healing me? Thank you. Okay, so no spider friends. I thought they were going to be the key to riches and success, but uh, no, it doesn't. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, I have to enter the Trial of the Fool again. Oh, look, that was 15 minutes for just one attempt, and I didn't even get super far. Percentage-wise, I still fought a lot of enemies, but... Hmm. <laughs> Here I go, I am Cinnamon. Doggone it, Quick Slash is disgustingly good. Like, yeah, Quick Slash is not always amazing, but it's usually amazing. Now we can be the Winamon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this guy is so annoying. <sighs> he just knows where you're going to be. Dog on it. Well, at least this is a good opportunity to heal. Yeah, nothing wrong with lurking. I actually remembered the Explodo Bats for once. Now we can build up our soul again. Whoa! I know I should use the attack spells more, but I'm so much more comfortable using all my soul for healing. Because I make a lot of mistakes. Why are shotgun bugs so annoying? They just, they always have a bullet in just the wrong place. Darn it. Tried to dream nail him. Ha ha! Yeah, Quick Slash really helps out against the uh, Manti. And just the big enemies in general. Thank you, thank you! Beat the no death mode without healing? And how did that work out? <laughs> Of 
forgot about Toady Wart Face. Oh, I forgot about Toady Wart Face. Darn you! Just one of you is bad enough. <laughs> I'm guessing it didn't go great. <laughs> Come off it. I hate this part. I hate the I hate this part in particular with all these stupid bugs. Heal dog on it. Oh, there's always one. Oh, this is good, actually. This is actually very good, because I can keep... This guy is very slow, so I can keep him alive and heal, and then keep Dream Nailing him in order to get Soul back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the way to do it. I'm 
sure hoping for a win at this point. Alright, that was good. You got in a hit. Good job. Well done, Sliverin. Well done, Sliverin. However... Alright, is it boss time? It's boss time, Woody! Alright. <laughs> we fought this guy... already. Alright. This is not going exactly according to plan. There we go! It's just like the simulations! <laughs> Please be the last fight. Yay! Thank you! Thank you! It was nothing! Do I get anything besides Geo? I don't. <laughs> well done! There we go! Okay, the Dream Nail actually really helped there. Now I'm assuming that's the last arena battle, right? Welcome back, warrior! A true fool keeps on fighting even when there's no more glory to be gained! Step over to a board and make your mark! Show us how foolish you truly are! I'm not a fool. I'm not the wuss! You're the wuss! Alright, well we got some money. I guess that's alright. We never used Spell Twister. Good use of that. I'm gonna equip Sharp Shadow, and we're gonna go fight Poop Bro. A whole lot. Wee! Boom! I'm okay. <laughs> do 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 do. Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh no! I don't have my compass equipped. Hope I can find my way around! <laughs> you don't want to fight me. I just cleared the arena. Who thinks I'm going to get lost on my way to the sewers? Show of hands! Don't be shy! <laughs> That's patently not true. <laughs> I do know it's not that way. Mark of Pride is going to be really good against Poop Bro. Because he froze the poop at a pretty close range. I feel like I went too far. No, there's the entrance. But before we do that... I think we have some stuff to sell to... The Ruins guy. Yeah, Kane's Idol. May as well sell it. A Keen's Idol. With as many of these as you've delivered, the other Relic Seekers are like to think I've gone mad for the Keen. 
Ha! <laughs> Who am I kidding? They'll only be jealous of my collection. Find me more. Well, I'm not sure if there are more. I think I got you everything that I can. I know I missed the one... I think arcane egg in that one area. Oh, uh, well. Alright. Try to remember where Poop Bro is. Okay. Make sure we get on a bench. Bench is going to be important. That way if we die, we don't have to walk all the way back here. And also, you know, to top off my HP. Alright. So we're here at the bench. We need to go... Keep going right, basically, as far as we can, then go up. Wow, I killed them both at the same time. Oh, that's true. I, it is a dream fight. Thank goodness for small... They knew that the dream fights were super tough, so they're like, maybe we should be a little more generous. Might as well go in with full HP. Alright, done, Defender. Thunder! Doba, Doba, Doba. Oh, that's right. This guy is definitely tough. Oh no, I got killed by poop. That's true. It's just more damage. So I re all I really need to do is find a pattern which avoids me taking any hits, and I should be able to beat the rest of these dream fights. And that's why Mark of Pride is nice, to escape from that. Okay. Gotta remember he can claw the earth. The problem is, you have to be so close to him to hit him. Okay, he's close to death at this point. Hmm. I'm almost thinking instead of Sharp Shadow, maybe I should have equipped either a Long Nail? Or the, uh, the Mega Rush badge. Fury of the Fallen. I feel like Long Nail would make it just more safe to attack him. Or maybe Steady Body. So I don't have to keep reorienting myself after I attack him. Okay, this is really dumb. <laughs> ah, the fact... The fact that he hits you going down into the ground, and he can go into the ground, like, instantaneously, that sucks! <laughs> yeah, I don't think Sharp Shadow was a good choice for this. Unless that can destroy his poop balls. Well, 
this is already off to a terrible start. And of course I left the bench behind, so I can't quickly swap badges. Well, Zote, they literally made you fight, like, actually ten times, when they probably should have stopped at one. Maybe two. I know they didn't make me, but they put 10 Zote fights in. Which, again, is 8 too many. Actually, 11 Zote fights, if you include fighting him in the Coliseum. Which, I do. At least they could have put a bench nearby. Like, there's a bench sort of in the same area, but not really. Okay, yeah, Sharp Shadow ain't doing squat. So Fury of the Fallen would be pretty decent. So would Lone Nail. So would Steady Body. I think I'm gonna go with Lone Nail, though. Just go all range. We're talking all to range. I like having my dashes at consistent um, distance. Because sharp shadow kind of screws me up that, like, your shadow dashes go farther than your non-shadow dashes. Like, that actually does screw me up a lot. <laughs> waiting for Artie. It's not like waiting for Godot. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully, with my extra long nail, this should be a bit of a safer fight. Funda! Wow, you didn't waste any time. Oba, doba, doba. Yay! Yeah, man, if you can start hitting him while he's doing that, that's great. Well, I guess Vol Nail helped. <laughs> he's no. I just wanted to see my mother one last time. Oh. My Keen, I believe in you. I believe in Hollow Nest. My devotion will never falter. <laughs> I think it will. <laughs> I think it will. Now presumably- oh, that's right. I get full HP anytime I go in here. So now presumably he'll deal free damage per attack. It's not like I use soul in this battle anyways. Well, 
you did not bounce around for as long as I expected you to. Blech. I guess I could try using soul attacks when I'm in a tight spot. But I mean, ugh, Quick Slash is just so good! Only Baba! Ho ho! Ow! Stupid poop. No! Oh, if I had, if I had just attacked a little bit earlier. Well, that's not very nice. Yay! All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh no! But. Rose Bud. Oh. At this point, I'm basically the Grim Reaper. My king, Hollow Nest will be reborn, glorious and bright, just as it always was. But then it didn't. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Join me, and we could defeat the final boss together. Man, poop bro means business. Oh shoot, I forgot about that part. I was expecting him to do like the Hall Bunda again, and I want to slash him when he does that. I hope he doesn't have as many forms as Zoke does. Because that would be kind of stupid. <laughs> Oni Baba, ho ho! Darn it! Darn you! I was specifically trying to hit you, and then you kept moving away, so I couldn't. That's right, no point in healing. I get fully healed anyways. Oh. No, my friends. My king, we will all be together once more. <laughs> Come on. It's time for more. If you defeat the White Defender 20 times, then he turns into the Platinum Defender and gives you 5 Geo. Isn't that such a worthwhile reward?
Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Sad to know he might be the only soldier left. <laughs> I'm still here. I mean, maybe I'm not a soldier because I don't serve the king necessarily, but... Actually, I think at this point, the knight who we're controlling is literally just a psychopath who's like, I must kill everything. It's like, can't you just let us sleep? No, I must kill you in your dreams. <laughs> Multiple times. I guess we're not a complete psychopath because we did let the uh, the nail guy live. Well, I don't see the king anymore, so. Maybe the soldiers are being loyal to Akin who is long dead. Like the uh the guards in Akana. Darn you I wasn't trying to dash there. No, oh, the stupid Dunball. We saw the body of the king at the top of the White Palace. That was also all a dream. So. The king is your dad? I don't know about that. He seems to, he seems to be making all these vessels, but I don't know if that means they're his kids or if they're his science experiments. They are not the same thing. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. He had to complete his stupid war cry before he actually killed me. Only being able to survive one hit is definitely tough. That in a technical sense, not in the relationship way. <laughs> You're my dad because I share half your DNA. Of course he stopped where I was. That's why I don't even bother healing, because if you heal, he will hit you. Unless I had the uh, Shape of Oon equipped, but I'd rather have Long Mail. I hate it when you dash and there's just a pile of done right where you end up. Like, wow, it happened twice in the same battle. And if that happens twice in the same battle, you dead. Oba Doba. is always in the wrong spot. The heal didn't go off. Lovely. How come... How come that one time I was able to attack him during his Honda war cry, but I haven't been able to do that since? There we go. 
Because if I can attack him during his war cry, then I can kill him before he goes into his desperation move. No! But I wanted to see... The next Star Wars movie. It's funny how I see you in my dreams too, little one. Your noble bearing reminds me of our dear Keen. When he returns, I'll ask him if you can become a knight. What jolly adventures we will have. Aw, that's sweet. Oh, that was the last one! Hey, dude! Aw, oh, you're awake and looking well rested. I was startled when I woke to find you curled up beside me. But of course you're welcome to rest here whenever the world wearies you. As the king granted his kingdom to shelter to those who needed it, I offer my home. Stay as long as you like, down here where it's cozy and warm and moist. Oh, that's nice. My cave may seem a far cry from the finery of the palace, but even still the memories of my former comrades and our glorious keen remain fresh in our mind. The pale court was a wondrous place full of the age's greatest heroes. Ah, looking at you now, I can easily imagine you standing amongst them. Where will the line of Hollow Nest's great knights end? With me? Can such a thing be passed on? Oh, cool, he doesn't die. Check the alcove to the right now. Ouch. Whoopee. Nothing. My favorite. He made a poop statue. Wow. I actually would have preferred 5 Geo. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> That's something I literally wouldn't have even noticed was different if you guys didn't point it out. I am glad that he does, doesn't die. Most of the time when you fight the... the dream versions of them. It's like, oh, now I can pass on. Bleh. Alright, we don't need the wall mail no more. I don't like that sound, though. <laughs> Poop man might take the lead. He does seem pretty cool. Despite the fact that he needs to take a bath. Hmm. I should equip a badge I'll never use. This is so dumb. The Void Heart is literally a direct downgrade of the King Soul. This doesn't even do anything. And the King Soul at least constantly gave me soul. Like, what the heck? Also, one thing I apparently didn't notice. So the Unbreakable Heart doesn't give you, like, blue masks. as a d It literally just gives you two more regular masks. So that's actually pretty decent. I thought it was exactly the same as, like, some of these. And I'm like, that's kind of dumb. But it actually is a bit different. Um, boy. Come, spider friends. I'm doing it for camaraderie more than anything else. Loud, uncomfortable gurgling in the background. Sorry, that was just me drinking water. You know how I be sometimes. Did that guy just drown in, like, half an inch of water? I know we're bugs, so half an inch of water is actually a lot more, but still. I hope in the next Hollow Knight, everybody's a frog. That's the Hollow Knight sequel that I want. Okay, is this even the right way? This is not even the right way. it gets to ride a frog. Exactly. Then you can put Ribby and Croaks in the game and have the Cuphead Hollow Knight uh, crossover that I want. Oh wait, this is the... This is still not the right way. This is where Maggot Lord lived. Who gave me the charm that I used one time. 
And I'm like, this stinks. It doesn't even have range. Pfft, add a frog NPC. I'd be down. Frog could be like the final boss or the bonus boss, because if everyone's still a bug, the frog would be absolutely enormous and could just kill you really easily. for Shadow Dash. Alright, let's try the fourth Pantheon. Man, if we finish the fourth Pantheon in decent time, we might finish Hollow Knight tonight. I did not expect to get through all of that as quickly as I did. Alright, we gotta set up our, our charms. So, I don't know exactly everybody who is going to be in this gauntlet that we face. I know we fight Lost Kin, I know we fight the Traitor Lord, I think we fight the White Defender. I know, I'm pretty sure we're going to fight Nightmare Grim. I actually maybe think not Quick Slash, potentially? Because Quick Slash, I think a lot of these bosses, and I think the Soul Master is another one, a lot of these bosses will teleport away, so Quick Slash won't really help that much. In exchange, I think we are going to equip... I like Quick Focus a lot. Quick Focus is good. And then for two... I do really like Steady Body. Or Sharp Shadow, honestly. There's a bench just above the Pantheons? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Because I believe we can. Pantheon of the Night. That looks like a good Pantheon charm setup. I thought so. Thank you. Okay, this guy's not too bad. Darn it. Yeah, okay. First guy is easy. Now we have Lost Kin. There's also apparently a badge. I think it's I think it's the badge that makes you smell bad. Which just completely invalidates the orange guy's existence in this fight. I'm so glad my upward slash didn't work. I'm so glad that my Shadow Dash worked. Sweet. <laughs> Just, yeah. Which is funny. I mean, I don't want the Stink Cloud for the rest of the fights, but... Oh, that's right. You're another one who Quick Slash really doesn't help against. Are you not supposed to fight this lady till like, relatively late in the game? Because I fought her pretty early on. I wonder how much of the game I ended up doing, like, very much out of order. 
as to what's, like, intended or what's the usual. I'm also not sure if there is much of an intended way, seeing as how it's a Metroidvania-style open-ended game. Alright, so far so good. Okay, this is where I died last time. And this is where, uh... Sharp Shadow is gonna come in handy. Oh yeah, Sharp Shadow was so good against this guy. Dude, Sharp Shadow was so good against that guy. Oh my goodness. Oh yep, sure enough, it's Poop Bro again! Forgiveness for killing Burfa. Hey. There's forgiveness if he repents. This fight is a lot harder and a lot longer without Quick Slash. There we go. I really hope we get a hot spring and a bench after this. Oh, I think I accidentally shot my soul out. Oh, yes! Do I want to switch up? No, I like, I like having Sharp Shadow. Oh, it's the failed champion. Use the strategy that I developed for him. Dash behind him. And then strike him in the back. And hope stuff doesn't fall on my head. That's the biggest problem with this fight, is just stuff that falls on your head. Oh! <laughs> Definitely glad I got some practice against these guys, though, when I was fighting the Ascended versions. <laughs> I was about to say Hatsune Miku. <laughs> if Hatsune Miku was a bonus boss, that would be very unexpected. Oh no! At least I, there's the ground this time. It's time to bring back Sauron again. I thought I fought this guy in a different pantheon. Do not bring back Sauron.
Of course, the annoying part of this is that even when I get to the end, there's going to be a new boss I've never fought before. And I'm almost, almost certainly going to die to him. Oh, not so tough when there's a floor, are you? Tom Marindo's playing Mario Kart, oh no. Oh no! Gonna start to wish I had Quick Slash! At least these guys aren't the Ascended version. So far, so good. Oh, that was the last of them. Cool. Oh, yeah, I was... I thought that this guy was going to appear. Looks like the, the sharp shadow doesn't work on this guy. Wow, his first phase is already done. That guy is tough. That guy is definitely tough. <laughs> Please do. That would be great. I can use that in part of the thumbnail. Uh oh. It's time for the last battle. Show reverence, O meager one! Show fear! Thou approacheth a great and terrible god! Though its worldly body be bound and defiled, the glory of its pure form endures. Ruler of this pantheon, its endless power shall attune us to the one greater still, a god of gods. 
Meager one, dost thou imagine thyself the equal of this god? Dost thou imagine thyself made in its image? Thou assume a similar shape, and the deep echo within thee seems familiar. Ah, what thoughts are these? Thou so blasphemies in our mind, wretch. Be gone, we pray that the god of nothingness silence thee forever. Nice to meet you too. O oh, bound one, thy silence nearly deafens us. Foolishly we feared thee, yet only by thine providence shall we fi find the one we seek, the gods sleeping within. Is this going to be Hollow Knight? Oh, hey, it is Hollow Knight. Hey, what's up? Pure vessel. Not broken vessel. Okay. He hits hard. He hits very hard. Oh, great. No opportunities to heal. I love that. And, of course, we die, so we have to do the whole thing again, but no way. I'm going down and I'm challenging him. One-on-one -on -one without me having to do a hundred battles beforehand. So this guy is definitely going to be harder than the actual final boss. The pure vessel. I'm going to start with... Attuned. Because <laughs> that's going to be what I actually end up facing. Gives me time to practice. Hey, bro. So this is like the vessel that actually worked out and didn't get corrupted, maybe? Oh, I like the dagger attack. Okay. Okay, so when he holds his hand back like that, it means he's going to do a free hit combo. Which we can dash through. Okay, that he lands on the ground and makes a bunch of daggers. If his sword is at normal height, then he dashes. It's a vision of the Hollow Knight before the infection took hold. Okay, if this is his full move arsenal, then this honestly shouldn't be too bad. It just takes getting this into muscle memory. This is also just this is also really chill music, which is weird. It's like it's like the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 2. That move I'm not sure how to deal with. Okay, that move is definitely going to be the toughest one. So are we- do we actually not have to fight Nightmare King Grimm in this Pantheon? I'm kind of surprised. I fully expected they would do something like that. I also just want to point out that it makes no sense that someone of our size can go up against this guy. I guess we can Shadow Dash through it? The problem is, the stage is so big, I can't see him from all the way across, so I can't see what move he's about to do. That's the real problem. You need to make sure he's on screen the whole time, otherwise you won't be able to predict what move he's going to do. And it really doesn't give you enough time to avoid his dash attack if he decides to do that one.
So much for Shadow Dash. I wish Shadow Dash worked more like the Smoke Bomb in Cuphead. Where it, like, actually always works and doesn't have a weird cooldown. Does he always do that move twice in a row, I wonder? Will he do it again? No, he won't. Okay. This is tough. It's really tough because he can go off screen. It's his free his free hit combo is the hard one to deal with. He's so quick and it's hard to it's hard to get an opening where you can hit him safely. His free hit combo, I have no idea how to deal with it. Unless you unless I'm in a position where I can dash through it. Wow. You have to be perfectly in between those. Like, you have to be perfectly in between those. It looks like it doesn't take a whole lot of hits to knock him down, though, which is nice. Yeah, I'm trying to work it out myself. Ugh. Oh, he's so fast. By the time you can see he's going to do his dash, it's too late to jump in the air. This is really tough. Also, why is the... Easier version of this guy, the Hollow Knight, not included in the uh, Pantheon battles. Most of these moves, it would just be all right, I jump over that, except that needle move. Even with even with Mark of Pride, it's hard to get a hit on him. That seemed to work. Just keep double jumping over his attacks. Hollow Knight was not that long of a battle. With Quick Slash, I beat it quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, but let's... Let me try this, so... If I keep double jumping... Okay, 
Okay, well, if he... If he does the I'm gonna shoot arrows at you move twice in a row, that will put a damper on it. Because I can do... if The double jump will avoid all of his attacks. If he does the silver arrows, I kind of have to shadow dash through that. But if he does the stupid arrow move twice in a row, my shadow dash is going to be on cooldown. So... I don't want to say you have to just get lucky, but... Looks like I need to adapt a little bit more. And that you can't heal in this battle unless you knock him down. Like, you are not healing in this battle. Maybe the nail arts are the key. Because I can charge the nail arts while I'm in doing the double jump, maybe. So much for dash! I, s I swear, can you not shadow dash through the arrows? Because I swear I've tried to shadow dash through the arrows and it was not on cooldown, but it, n it hasn't worked. Yay! <laughs> We're going to McDonald's! Whee! We are not going to McDonald's! Is too fast. Like he's he's too fast. I just want to point out, it's really evil to put this guy at the end of a Pantheon and force you to go all the way and then lose just to learn the fight. Like, there's really no excuse for that other than they wanted to be evil. Okay, there is no rhyme or reason where those pop up. I was trying to space myself away from him pro- Those daggers, I thought they always spawned a certain distance away from him. Nope, they can spawn literally anywhere, so... You just have to hope you can get lucky, because you can't react to that fast enough. Or at least I can't react to that fast enough. You know what the solution is? Don't put this guy in a pantheon. Or ha allow you to fight him before attempting the Pantheon. I swear my Shadow Dash is not working when I... on those light arrows. Every time I've tried, it has just been like, I'm not working.
And can you imagine how hard this guy would be on the Ascended difficulty? I haven't even tried... <laughs> we just took away the floor. That's what they always do in the freaking Ascended modes. It's just like, we took away the floor. Oh yeah, uh, getting for the Pantheon isn't that hard. You just have to fight, like, all of the hardest bosses in the game in a row. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna try something new. I'm only going to damage him via Shadow Dash. Shadow Dash didn't work, even though I dashed and it was not on cooldown. I swear this guy can break through your Shadow Dash. I mean, he's definitely difficult, no question about that. I hate how he can just pit, defend out of nowhere, and then just be like, oh, now you can take a hit because I was able to guard your attack. That was a mistake. Yeah, Shadow Dash just does not work in this battle for most of the attacks. Like, it feels like his sword, even if you're Shadow Dashing, will just cut through the Shadow Dash and hit you anyways. So, like, if he's not using his sword, you can dash through him, but if he is, then tough luck, kid. He also has a big ol' hitbox. <laughs> Anytime I try to Shadow Dash through that, it doesn't work. Okay, I think Sharp Shadow is literally just a must for this fight. Because that's kind of one of the only reliable ways of dealing damage is to dash through him. All of his attacks just come out so fast, you have, like, a tenth of a second to react to it. It's ridiculous. This is gonna be one of those situations where, like, even if I manage to beat him, I won't have confidence that I can beat him after, in one try, after doing a large pantheon of other stuff. new move. Great, so he even gets more moves as the fight goes on. At least that one didn't seem that difficult. I guess that means I'm making progress, if I'm seeing new moves. Oh, he's got like ten forms. Doggone it!
Oh look, OBS disconnected because of course it did. Well, bad news is my laptop is being stupid, and I lost the fight. Good news is I think I'm actually developing a strategy <laughs> to dealing with them safely. <laughs> this is the Pure Vessel's final line of attack, making your, your PC overheat. Pure Vessel... The free hit combo is still annoying if he does it close to you. Yeah, the free hit combo is the one I still can't deal with accurately. Like, depending on how far away he is when he does the free hit combo, like, you won't be able to... Like, he'll be too far away for you to Shadow Dash through it, but he'll be too close by you so you can't Shadow Dash the opposite way, otherwise he'll catch you. Did the stream cut short? It cut out for a bit, because my PC is like, Overheat now! No internet for you! So when he does that, I generally do a Shadow Dash, and then I jump backwards. That doesn't always work, though, because, again, the knives seem to be unpredictable. Like, right there. If you are in a position right there, and he does the free hit combo, you are screwed. You cannot dodge it. it comes out too fast for you to double jump over. You can't dash through him, and you can't dash away from him. It's just, take it. Oh, what's that? You're at 1 HP because I did this move already a bunch of times? Too bad, you lose. Like, I'm even dashing away from him multiple times and he still catches you. How about healing, you doofus? I 
lost Ken. All he's he's lost Ken, but he's really bad even if you do have the best equipment. That's what this really is. That's bold of you to say, Simpsons R.S., when you haven't fought either of them. I have to save my Shadow Dashes for in case he does the free hit combo. Oh, you butt. You see at this point that I can beat the Lost Kin pretty effortlessly when I'm at the equipment that I'm at now. Like, if I fought Lost Kin at the equipment I was, had when I fought him the first time, and then I fought this guy with that same equipment, this guy would be harder, no question. I, I didn't even have Shadow Dash back then. Yeah, if he goes to the corner and blasts you from a distance like that, and then does the free hit combo, you are so dead, and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, the quarter of a second he was off-screen, that was all he needed to cheese that fight. He just jumped off-screen as like, cool, I can do the dash, and you can't stop it. Gotta say I'm not a fan of the music here, Ivor. It's too peaceful for such an infuriating fight. Yep, Sharp Shadow's a must for this fight. Must, must, must. I was using Shadow Dash. It feels like he has killed me multiple times while I was using Shadow Dash, and thus he shouldn't have been able to kill me, but he still did anyways. Facing to the right. I wish I could choose not to Sharp Shadow if I don't want to and just keep it so I don't waste the charge. So this is, like, literally his easiest attack. I jumped. I 
I also have no idea how much HP that he has, so I don't know if I was, like, about to beat the fight, or if I wasn't even halfway through the fight. It's hard to know. How many times will I shadow dash and yet it doesn't work? Oh, that was dumb. Oh man, I was doing well that time. This is one of those fights where I can't understand how anyone could beat this without having any badges. Or like, imagine trying to beat this guy if you don't have the Shadow Dash. I feel like it just wouldn't be possible. Honestly though, Shadow Dash has betrayed me so much in this fight that maybe it would be better without it. Like, imagine doing that final Pantheon. With all of the bindings. That would be so stupid. <gasps> that was close. Okay, if he does that move when you're right next to him, then it's annoying. Darn it! Ah! It's not possible to unlock this fight without the Shade Cloak since you need it to reach Traitor Lord. Um. So? Can't you reach this area without fighting Traitor Lord? All you need is a small key. The fact that he can just, on a dime, say, nope, I'm parrying this attack, really a freaking is annoying.
Like right there. I swung my nail and then he's like. <laughs> I know Traitor Lord comes before him in the Pantheon, but you could hypothetically fight the Traitor Lord in the Pantheon without fighting the Traitor Lord in the Overworld, right? It's like how you could fight the, like, the God guy at the end of the Trial of the Fool without reaching the end of the Trial of the Fool. It just feels like no matter what strategy I employ for this, there's always one thing he can do that ruins the strategy and makes it not work. Which means you can't rely on it. Where it's like, oh yeah, if I... When he does the, like, shoot a bunch of arrows fiend and I dash through it and then attack twice, and then dash away, I'll be fine unless he does the, like, free hit combo... And then if you're... I'll double jump in case he does the free hit combo. It's like, yeah, but if he does the arrow move again, then you're still screwed. Like, I feel like there's not a set of movements that you can do that will dodge everything no matter what he does. So what happens if you literally fulfill all the criteria to unlock the Pantheon, but you just hadn't fought the Traitor Lord before? Would it just be, well, no Pantheon for you. And then you come back after doing that, you're like, oh, never mind, now you can fight the Pantheon. That's kind of weird. I feel like this fight is nowhere near as elegant or fun as Nightmare King Grimm. And I think a lot of it has to do with the lack of good music. Like, this is like, imagine if someone's playing, like, beautiful, like, harp spa music while you're fighting the most difficult boss in the game. It's like, that doesn't work. There's a big disconnect there. It's for the same reason you don't hear, like, epic death metal music in, like, Reader Rabbit Teaches Typing. Those knives always catch me. They always catch me. I hate it. They come out too fast for you to react properly. Like that! They, they come out too fast for you to react properly. You just have to hope they don't spawn on you. This is so dumb. And this is the easiest difficulty. Night, DX. Sleep well.
He just loves doing the worst possible combos that you can't dodge in a row. I hate it when that happens, too. It's like, oh, you knocked him out, and that means that you lose. How did... I'm also very sick of my Shadow Dash not working when it very clearly should. Like, sometimes the freaking Shadow Dash needs five whole seconds to recharge. Instead of, like, the one and a half seconds it's supposed to have. This is why, guess what? It would be so much better if Shadow Dash was just always Shadow Dash. I didn't even get hit by a sword. This fight... This fight could have been great, but it's riddled with fake difficulty. Yeah, this is a shame. This could have been the like one of the best fights in the game, but it's not. They went too far with this fight. Part of me is wondering if Quick Slash would actually be good in this fight. Probably not, because he would just abuse his parry attack. Sure. Why is it any time I start healing, they're like, cool, spawn something on him so he can't move? Like, that has happened pretty much every time I've tried to heal outside of his, like, uh oh, I'm weak moments. Which he has for like half a second and then is back to normal. Trying to figure out how much of this fight is the fight's fault, though, and just not and not just the bad mechanics behind certain things like the Shadow Dash. Also, sometimes when he parries you, he just slashes in front of him, and sometimes he dashes really far and slashes just so you can't dash away. And it's very stupid. Make it consistent, or don't make it at all. I only 
almost dream nailed him. I hate it when you end up knocking him down with a Shadow Dash, because that completely screws it me up. And instead of getting to heal, I get take damage. Oh, sure, he has a new move that I've never seen before. Sure, just give him all the moves. It's not like that's unfair or anything. I think the thing that's not good is the fact that your cloak has a cooldown. There's no reason why it should have a cooldown. It just makes things more annoying. Or at the very least, give us a badge where it won't have a cooldown. Like, make that a part of Dash Master. Of Dash Master. That badge stinks, anyways. Um, that really wouldn't break fanes. That's how it works in Cuphead, and trust me, that does not break fanes. <laughs> you still have to be smart with your dashes. But again, this goes back to the issue with the Lost Kin. You can't react fast enough to his attacks. You literally just have to guess. And guess what? If you guess wrong, you take a lot of damage. And basically, you have to just get lucky. Which, uh, yeah, if you have to get lucky to beat a boss fight, that's not a good boss fight. Yeah, the Shadow Dash doesn't need a cooldown, because the dash itself has a cooldown. You can't just dash constantly. You have to, like, wait a little bit after dashing before you can dash again. Or I'll compromise. You don't need to give the Shadow Dash unlimited cooldown. But then you can't give the bosses like this unfair movesets like this. just feels like there's so much randomness in this final battle, which should be like a final ultimate test of skill. But instead it's like, oh, it's random? Okay, how am I supposed to avoid that? It's not like he's staggered for long anyways. Yum! I love getting hit by nothing!
Also, like, I'm out of range of the blades at the bottom, and it's still making me hit the blades at the bottom, even though I'm not touching them. Their hitboxes are freaking enormous. Alright. I'm gonna try something. I want to see if Quick Slash will help. Also, this means that the Mantis Lord and, like, Spindly Guy don't have their extra battles in the Pantheon, so where the heck are they? didn't work again. Well, I'm glad one of us is having fun. I can't believe I'm saying this, I would rather fight Nightmare Grim in that uh, Pantheon. Wow, Quick Focus was doing nothing for me. Shadow Dash didn't work again! Yay! I mean, for me, it's harder than Nightmare King Grim because I actually know how to beat Nightmare King Grim now. Not sure if this is harder than Ascended Markov, though, because that was also a stupid fight riddled with fake difficulty. Shadow Dash didn't work again. There is no way it was on cooldown. I was dashing, and it didn't freaking work. It's the most inconsistent garbage I've seen. Even when it's supposed to work, it doesn't work.
Okay, what the... You just have to know he's going to do that attack and be in the air. Is what I'm getting, so... Great, cool, that's a totally fair move. Love it. I have an idea if this if it doesn't work this time. I might unequip Mark of Pride and replace it with the low HP one and steady body. Heal! He would not heal. I was holding the A button so hard. He would not heal. I'm getting very tired of this. Alright. I will probably regret not having the extra reach, but I'm at least going to try a little different badge setup. And again, this is the attuned difficulty, not ascended. I didn't get hit by anything, that's bogus. Oh look, it waited until I was in there to say, all right, now we'll spawn the circle. I literally waited until all of these circles had spawned, then went in, and then they're like, psych, spawned another circle on top of me. Again, fake difficulty. I do like having steady body in this fight, though. It makes the dagger attack a little bit less annoying. But, it's still not without its faults. Much for Shadow Dash. Oh my goodness, Steady Body is so nice for this part. Steady Body is so nice for that part. Die! Die, you stupid butt.
You're no match for me when I'm not taking recoil into your stupid knife, knife attack. Get out of here. Get out of here! I just want to see what the Ascended difficulty is like. Do they take away half the floor again? Or does he just deal extra damage? Or maybe he's faster. Slightly more HP and double damage. Fun. And apparently he lunges forward when you uh, damage him. Or when you uh, knock him to his feet. Well, healing in this ba version of the battle is uh, going to be pointless. <laughs> Isn't that right, little knight? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're so right, Artie. Okay, yeah, he literally lunges at you. I can't get close to him when he does the freaking dagger attack now. Like, when I knock him down, and he, like, is like, oh, I took enough hits, and then stumbles. In the Ascended version, he stumbles forward to hit you. That's so stupid. Then again, since when is this fight about being good? Actually, no, it's it's not even just when he gets down on his last legs. It's like all of his attacks he lunges forward more. Good grief! I'll give him a few attempts, but honestly, fighting this guy is just a headache. This game peaked at Nightmare King Grim. Yeah, I'll say it. It peaked at that point. <laughs> at least in terms of boss fights. I swear that parry attack is not fair. Like, I can't guard his attacks just in a f with a frames notice. Like, imagine if you could just press a button and then instantly guard someone's attack and then deliver, like, the charge attack in return. It would break the whole game. So why is he allowed to have it? He's supposed to be me, anyways. Shadow Dash didn't work yet again! Yeah, I think they should have just polished the core game mechanics a bit better, and this fight would have been a bit more manageable. Because this fight was absolutely designed with the Shadow Dash being required in mind. But the Shadow Dash just doesn't want to work a lot of the time. Right there! Right there! I dashed through him, and he still damaged me! So, like, Shadow Dash simultaneously did and didn't work. It's the least consistent game mechanic. Which, I mean, I guess it's fine, but you then you can't design boss fights in such a way that you need Shadow Dash to get through them. But they did. And that's why we're left with this colossally unfun mess.
that screwed me up twice. <laughs> Having the freaking guy stop dead in his tracks when I shadow dash for him. Man, this fight blows so much. I think he's still slightly more fun than Ascended Markov, but uh, not by much. At least there's a floor in this fight. So it's not him that's better, it's the floor that's better. Oh my gosh, I dodged that attack for once. No, oh, I was so close to killing him too. Uh, no, no it's not. Wednesday's night stream, I am going to beat the fourth Pantheon and then beat the game. Unless there are other bosses out there, but I swear I've looked everywhere and haven't found any. You'd f if, if there's another fight against the Mantis Lords, the, but the ghost fight, I don't know where it would be because I've been back to where the Mantis Lords are and there is nothing to dream of now. Cool, I got back up to full HP. Rats. Oh look, Shadow Dash didn't work again. You don't even have to wait about for Wednesday, you can tell me them now. It's not like I'm doing anything better right now. But he did the dash yet again. I mean, it seems like Quick Slash is how helping, believe it or not. That's surprising. If only you could change your badge setup right before this fight in the Pantheon, but I guess I'm going to have to use Quick Slash on the fights before this. Even against Teleporty McGee. So much for Shadow Dash. just be the name of this whole episode. Like, look at that! Why did Shadow Dash not protect me there? No, I know I'm not gonna actually do them this stream. I'm gonna fight him a couple more times and then give up, and then just save and quit. I'm just saying you can give me an inkling of where to go and I can try to remember for Wednesday's stream. That way, in case, I don't know, if you're busy with other things and can't make it to Wednesday's stream, I still have an idea of where to go. Of 
freaking course. A freaking course, it always appears if I do that. That's a possible title. I think I have a better one, though. I'm not going up to... Gr if I have to wall jump really precisely multiple times without failing a single one, I'm not doing that. The fact that the swords he makes spawn at the bottom are really, really thick at the bottom is super dumb. I thought I got everything in the White Palace. I went there and I asked, is there anything else? And people said, no, so I left. Are you telling me you were lying to me? Do I have to go for that freaking Buzzsaw Palace again? I'm not doing that. It took half the stream when I did it the first time. Oh look, Shadow Dash didn't work again. Oh look, I got hit by wonky hitboxes again. Oh look, Shadow Dash didn't work again! It sounds like both of those secrets are more of a pain than they're worth. So I'm going to ask you, if I get the Fane in the White Palace, do I have to go through the entire Buzzsaw section again? Because if I do, I'm not doing it. Because again, that took me like 50 minutes to go for the whole thing. Okay, the game is literally just saying we're not letting you win. He just bounced off the ground like a freaking Super Bowl. Okay, then maybe I will check that out next time. But it better have something worthwhile. Because honestly, all of this secret content at the end has just not really been worth it. It's not giving me anything. I have all the badges, I have all the upgrades, it's literally just like, you get a shiny gold icon on this door. That's your entire reward for going through hours of pain. It's like, yeah, I think I'd rather be doing stuff in real life. And once again, nothing hit me. I was directly in between the two blades, and I was not touching him, so I literally just took damage from nothing.
I will try one more time. And then I'm stopping. I wonder what the YouTube recommended thumbnails will be for the VOD when I upload it tomorrow. Probably all of them will involve this dumb butt. Okay, what a way to end the stream with Shadow Dash not working. This is driving me freaking crazy. Alright, well, we still made good progress this stream. We finished up pretty much everything. We just have Pantheon number four. And I guess I could do the Ascended version of him and the Radiant version of everybody, but heck no, I'm not doing that. Maybe I'll give Radiant version of him a few more tries, but... Honestly, I'm ready to be done with him. He's that's not a fun fight. Like you can you could argue the design of that fight is decent, but that is not a fun fight. I did not have fun on that fight. So we're going to unequip all of that. And we're just going to prep ahead of time for next battle. I actually will keep quick slash on. And yeah, quick focus as well. This is the Oh wait, but I kind of want Mark of Pride as well. Mm. Sorry, Deep Focus. You're going off. These are the ones we're going to have for next time. Well, uh, next time, we will be completing the fourth Pantheon. Maybe we'll check out the White Palace. If I can look up how to do the freaking Grim Fiend, then, and it's not as difficult as I'm expecting, then maybe we'll explore that too. But from what I see, it requires you to do ridiculously precise, like pixel-perfect frame-perfect wall jumps eight times in a row. And I'm like, uh, no. Don't. That's not going to happen. So... That's what will be happening on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, we'll actually ha play Majora's Mask and have probably a lot more fun. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, once we get rid of the freaking Radiant Knight in the Pantheon, we probably just have at least somewhat decent stuff left. So, yeah, there we go. Sorry to end the stream on such a sour note, folks, but uh, there you go. So, Wednesday's stream going to be the grand finale? Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I kept, I thought the Grand Finale was happening every week for the last six weeks or so. But it just keeps on going. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, I never said Backyard Baseball was starting next week. Do not put words in my mouth. I did not say that. Alright. Have a great night, everybody. God bless. See you Wednesday.